Hello guys, hi Kit Kats, how are you? I hope you're having an awesome weekend. Um, on today's video I'm going to be doing a story time. Um, now today's video, um, today's story time is about a time um, when I went to the hairdressers. Um, this is a local hairdressers to where I live. Um, I've grown up in the same sort of area of my hometown. Um, literally moved up the road almost. And I've been going to the same hairdressers um, since I was little. So um, I hadn't been for a while and I think at the time I was about 8 or 9 and um, I was due to get my hair cut because I started to get like split ends and my fringe was getting longer so I kind of needed a haircut. So I think my dad took me and I walked in there and my face just dropped and I was like, oh my god! And um, my younger self, from what I thought I'd seen, the hairdresser, um, I thought it was Joe Howell. <laughs> And I was like in my head thinking, why? I didn't know Joe Hallow was a hairdresser. And I was like going, oh my god, oh my god, in my head, like getting really excited and like really like like a bit shocked. And um, ironically, she actually grew up in the area and went to I think one of the local schools. Um, so it, it wasn't as if it wasn't possible. And um, this girl sounded like Jerry Hallower, she looked like Jerry Hallower, and I was completely convinced that it was her. Now, I look back now and I know obviously it wasn't her, it just looked a very good look-alike. And it was when Jerry had like red hair. Um, I'm going to try and insert a picture here. Um, that's what she looked like, that's literally what the hairdresser looked like. And I was completely convinced that it was her. And I was like fangirling and everything. and. Um, I went back and saw her so many times and I was thinking, is Jerry li living like a double life or something? And at the time, um, we're talking, this was what, about nine years ago or something? So um, she was a bit younger then and I thought it could be possible. Um, but I was just so convinced this girl was Jerry Hallowell and I was like, she's my hairdresser. Um, but yeah, now I know that she's not. She wasn't the hairdresser, it was just um, like a coincidence that this girl happened to look like Jerry, um, sound like Jerry, and um, be so convincing that literally she could have been a, d a double or look alike. You know, because she had like the same red hair, the same tone in her voice. She had, I think, even her eye colour was like the same as Jerry's. And I was just like, You're Jerry Hallowell, aren't you? And, I didn't like say it out loud, but I just thought in my head, you know, this is so cool, you know. Um, she's my hairdresser, and she's like living a double life. Maybe she got sick of doing her singing. I think it was the time when she went solo for a bit, and then I think she stopped releasing music, so I thought maybe she is. And as weird as it sounds, maybe it was Jerry. But I know it wasn't. <laughs> and um, I just thought this is so cool, and... Like one of the Spice Girls, like you know, is like in my hometown. She's cut my hair, you know. She's spoken to me, and I was just like my young, like younger self. Like I, I was only what eight or nine, like I said. So I was only young and um, young and naive, as they say. And I don't know to like I didn't know at the time, you know, it wasn't her, but. It was like like my the fangirl child of me was like proper fangirling about about it and thought she's my hairdresser and it's um it was just really exciting at the time and I don't know if I remember if I told anyone or fangirled like any of my friends at the time or anyone I knew saying oh my god your hair was my hairdresser but I was convinced. And I think I said to my mum and stuff, and she was like, oh, it's not her, it's just look alike. And I think because my dad took me to the hairdressers, my dad sort of saw, but my mum didn't. And I was just like, she's my hairdresser, oh my god. But no, it wasn't her. It was just a girl that looks like her. Um, with, like I said, with the very convincing, same sort of sound like features, you know, same tone in her voice. And it was just crazy. But. Um, after a while, the hairdresser left. I um, can't remember what her name. I don't remember her name was like Natalie or something random like that. So, but um, she left eventually, and I don't know actually what happened to her. And I don't know. If, I don't think I haven't kept on contact with her. But I just couldn't believe how much she looked like her. 
and she probably could have left the hairdressers and got a job as a double because it's just so convincing as Joe Halliwell when you're young and naive you know you wouldn't know the difference um so yeah that was my story about my hairdresser um looking like Joe Halliwell um, anyway, thanks for watching guys. I know that it's a very short story time, but I had to, I wanted to tell you guys about it, about my quirkiness and some of the things that I've experienced in my life. Um, I try to upload story times about once a month or every so fortnight if I can, but again, you know, I do other content on my channel as well. Um, if you'd like to see more of my content, please press the, the subscribe button and, um, and the bell if you want to keep up to date or notified with when I upload and um, feel, free to, feel free to comment and please like and um, all my social medias are in the um, description and anyway, I take care guys and thanks for watching bye